All right, good morning. Uh, welcome to a bar workout this morning. So a little bit of uh, ballet, sculpting, Pilates, yoga, kind of all mixed and blended together. Make sure your space is safe. Um, you have a mat and some lighter weights. We'll do some standing and we'll do some stuff on the floor. So let's get going. We're gonna start with our feet just a little bit apart. Okay. Let's take our feet just a little bit apart. And let's lift all 10 toes and press them down. All 10 toes and press them down. Lift and down. Let's do just the big toes. Big toes and down. Big toes and down. Big toes. Good, let's do all 10 toes again. You can look down, see if they're lifting up equally. Our toes are really important actually. Way more important than we give them credit for. Big toes. Lift and down, lift and down. Two, now hold the big toes up, lift the other eight up, okay? And let's go outside edge, inside edge. Outside and inside. Now let's lift the heels, right, left, right, and left. Warming up our feet, because we're gonna do a lot with them. Set them down, toes up, out and in. Out and in. Our ankles should have movement in this plane. Heels right, left, right, and left. Alternating. Good. Let's do one more set. Set them down and lift the toes. Out and in. Out and in. Good. And last set. Lift right, left, heels. Stretching out the long arch of the foot, getting across the toes of metatarsals. Good, set them down. Let's lift all 10 toes, spread them out wide, reach them out and grip. And we're gonna do our foot lift, our arch lift, okay? Often I call it your foot kegel. It's that deep intrinsic lift, okay? Deep in the foot. Okay. And that lift of the foot, your foot kegel, should be communicating with your pelvic floor kegel. Okay. Let's go right arch, left arch, right arch, left arch. Now, as you're doing the arch lift, make sure your toes do not curl up. Leave your toes out long. And let's let that lift come up through the body. Right shoulder, left shoulder. Let's take it even bigger. To a little elbow, reaching back, opening up the heart. Let's do a long arm. Good, let's go both feet, both arms all the way up, lift up and down. Again, from the feet all the way through the fingers and down. Two more, from the feet to the fingers, one more, lift, good, hands to the thighs, sink down, lower back, tuck, untuck. So fingers pointing down, elbows in, tuck and untuck, tuck and untuck. Two, and roll all the way up. Roll your shoulders back, bring your hands to your rib cage. Let's open and close. Open and close. Open and close. Now right side, left side. Right side, left side. So we start with a little bit of rotation. Keep your knees straight ahead. Keep your pelvis straight ahead. Four more. Three, two, Good, fingers by the temples, pull back, two, three, touch the elbows front. Three, two, one, and front. Three, two, one, sit. Three, two, come up and touch. Three, two, one, and touch. Now make sure you can still wiggle your toes. Give me a single, sit and close. 
fingers by the eyes. Keep it out of the neck, out of the shoulders, into the mid back. Good, hold, open up, release the arms. Let's step out wide to a plie. Pelvis neutral, shoulders back, down and up. So, always think about balancing something on the head. Ears over your shoulders, shoulders over the hips, knees and toes tracking the same direction. Straight down, straight up, working your range. Lift your right heel, lift your left heel. Right and left, right and left. Can you do both heels? Lift and down. Four, three, two, hold. Set your heels down, right arm, reach. Keep it in line with the ear. Other side, big reach, keeping it in line with your ear. Let's go a little bit quicker. Right arm, left arm. Big stretch through the side body. Good, hold the arms out and pulse. Turn to the right and pulse. Take your left, right arm up, then switch and switch. Good, so ear over shoulder, shoulder over hip, hip over the knee. Good, open front and pulse. Let's turn to the left. Take your left arm up and switch and switch. Good, couple more. Keep it all stacked. Feel that stretch to the front of your right hip. Open front and pulse. Reaching long. Lift your right heel. Switch left. Switch right. Switch left. Right foot, right arm up. Let's switch. And switch. And switch. Let's do two each side. Two and two. Down and hold. Do I take a deep breath? Let's walk our feet all the way in. Let's start with our feet together in first position. Heels together, neutral pelvis, shoulders back, ears stacked. Let's step out, step in and switch. So again, think about balancing something on your head, keeping that positioning, and then see if you can get a little point in your toes. Down, point, close. Finding that.
sip of water because hydration is so important. All right, so you've got your weights. We're gonna start feet hip width apart. Roll your shoulders back, weight in each hand. Let's start slow, hinge. Open the arms up in nice big reverse fly using the back. Come up, do that again slow. Over, out, keep the neck relaxed. Keep it deeper in the back. Let's go a little quicker. Over, open, add up. Over, open, and up. Take it over and hold. Roll your shoulders back. Make sure your bottom's untucked. Make sure you can wiggle your toes. Right arm side, left arm side. Keep your hands a little relaxed. Keep your shoulders away from the ears. Right arm, left leg, hip width switch. Ah, keeping your long spine. I'll show you a different angle. When you step in, keep your feet hip width. You're lightly touching. You're not shifting your weight back. Good. Stand up, triple hinge. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. Take it over, just pulse, stay. Okay, so a little bend in the knees, bottom back, no tucking, neck relaxed. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come up, overhead tricep right here. This is gonna help stretch out the front of the body after being bent over for a little bit. Right leg step back a little. Hip width, left. So this is a little bit more of a step just to help open up that front body. Can you drop it to a little deeper lunge? Lunge and lunge. Work your range. Down. And up. Here's a side view. Four, three, two, feet hip width, side arms. Hold three, two, hold up, down. Three, two, hold up, down. So it's just a little rotation, keeping it in front of your face. Okay? Three, Two, one, up, down. Three, two, one, up, down. Hold open, right arm up, left arm up. Neck relaxed. Stop at 90. Feet hip width, right arm, left leg. Hip width, hip width. Good, try not to tip, try not to lean and hold. Good, release down, let's set the weights down. Okay, and let's take a nice wide stance. Back to that wide plie, okay, down and up. Shoulders back. Let's take the arms out. Right arm 
only. Down and up. Down and up. Nice and long and graceful through your fingers. Let's add the right leg lift. Down and lift. Down and lift. So arms back in line with the ears. Head over the shoulders. Long legs. So when you reach, point those toes. Down. You're going to hold it up. And pulse. So watch your shoulders. If they're up here, get them down. Neck relaxed. Arms long and graceful. Little bend in the left knee. Right leg straight and rotate it in. Arm. And up. Hold. Turn. Bring the hands in, press the palms together. Again, a little bend in the left knee, right leg straight, hips square. Palms pressed, chest proud, neck relaxed. Four, three, two, left knee bends. Down and up. Four pulses, right leg. Two squats. Four pulses, squat, four pulses, and squat. Good, step out, plie, down and up. And just a little note, so when we're doing this live, right and left, I have to switch, but I believe when I teach live, but record it, and then you watch it, it's a double switch. So if you're like, that's not right, that's not left, don't worry about that. <laughs> it kind of blows your mind, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Arms out. Let's take the left arm down and up. Let's add the left leg this time. Reach down and reach. Lengthen. Hold it up and pulse. Again, arms in line with the ears. Little bend in your right knee. Left leg really straight and long. Take the left arm. One more. Let's turn. Bring the hands to the chest. Shoulders back. Nice long leg, belly braced. Keep a little bend in your right knee. Lift, lift. Keep going, keep going. We've got a few more. Now two squats. Four lifts, two squats, four lifts, back leg, thigh on, toes pointed, squat. Four lifts, and squat. Four lifts, and squat. Good, let's step out wide. Plie, down and up, hold the hands, roll your shoulders back, take it down, hold, press, down and up, down, press, let's add the heels,
Come on, let's do a few more. Keep it all stacked. Keep the palms firmly pressing. This time, let's hold, hold, keep the heels up, bring the hands down, take them up, and front. Woo. Hold the legs, hold the heels up if you can. If not, the heels are down. Remember, modify, do what's right for you. Press the palms firmer. Hold. Build that strength, build that heat. Two and one, good. Shake it out. Down, little pulse, little pulse to loosen up. Roll your shoulders back. Good, slide in, move over a little bit. Three pulses, three, two, sweep front. Three, two, sweep front. Sweep front. Let's open. Three, two, one, sweep. Now you can touch the floor or you can try not touching the floor. Good, triple pulse. Hold here, lift. Up, triple pulse. Three, two, slide close, lift with the arm. Triple, slide close, and lift. Ooh, I lifted my arm a little too soon, eh? Triple, slide close, and lift. Triple, slide and lift. Ooh. Triple. My brain and my body aren't matching today. <laughs> Let's do a single slide, lift, and up. Slide, lift, and up. Slide, lift, and up. Just getting a little more inner thigh. Standing up tall. Keep a long leg. Remember there's strength in length. Let's pulse it out. Reach it up. Bring the hands in. Get a little deeper. Hold it deep. Press the knees back. They won't go far, it's not a big motion. Deep and knees back. Push your heart forward, keep your neck free. Get deeper. And release, good, grab your weights. Grab your weights. Let's take a wide stance. Okay, start with the arms in a 90 degree bend. Roll your shoulders back, okay? We're going side, center, side, center. So those are our legs. Maybe you wanna walk out a little wider, make any little adjustments. Let's open up the arms, hold it 90. Now this is a challenging move. So if you have too heavy a weight, you might want to ditch your weights. And it's going to be extra hard because we're going slow on this one. Reach, center, reach and center. Keeping your arm in line with your ear. Just proud, neck is free. Last two. And one, hold, close, come down, walk your feet in a little bit, and let's down and up. Add the arms 90 degrees up and in.
Take it down and hold, open the arms and come up again. Down, open, close, and in. Down, open, close. Couple more. Relax your fingers, keep your neck relaxed. Hold here. Okay, right arm forward and left. Stay deep in the legs. Eight. Keep your body still, fight the motion, fight the leaning, fight the twist. Hold them out, press it up. Good, let's walk our feet all the way in. Okay, holding, first position, reaching up. Right arm, pull, left arm, pull, right arm. Let's add a plie. Now both arms with the plie. Take it down, hold and lift the heels. Hold, heels, down and up. Hold, heels. Next time we'll add the arms. Hold, heels and arms. And up, down. Hold here, good, pulse, reach up, bring it down, good, step wide, lean right and left, bring the arms up, lengthen and in, lengthen and in, lengthen and in. Four, three, two, and one. Good, release the arms, walk your feet in. We're gonna to transition to the floor now. Bring your weights with you. If you need to grab a mat or a towel or anything, bring it down to the floor. We're gonna to come to all fours to begin, okay? So from all fours, I want you to grab one of your weights in your right hand. So I love to work triceps, the back of the arm, but I also love to be um, very efficient. So we are working the tricep, but we're also working the core and our balance and a little bit of legs. So we're multitasking, which you know I love to do. All right, so you're gonna set your table, knees hip width apart, hands right underneath the shoulders, I want you to imagine I put a tray of drinks on your back. Don't spill. Bring your right arm up, okay? And it points straight back, and it stops when you point straight down. Straight back, straight down. That's our arm motion. You're gonna take your opposite knee and float it off the floor, not spilling your drinks. You should have felt a bunch of core muscles kick in. Then we're gonna add the leg. Back, don't touch. Back, don't touch. Hold, let's go a little quicker. Back, don't touch.
Try not to spill anything. Good, hold. Nice, bring it in. Let's switch sides. I'm gonna turn around. You don't necessarily need to. Do what works for you in your space and is safe for you. Reset your table. Let's take the other arm, set in position. Take it, hold, straight down. Straight back, straight down. Straight back, straight down. Let's add the opposite knee off the floor. Don't shift or spill. And let's add the leg back and in. Back, don't touch. Back, don't touch. One more slow. Let's go a little bit quicker. Back, don't touch. Back, don't touch. Let's do four more. And hold. Good, release. Sit back. Take a little stretch overhead, stretching your triceps. If it's not comfortable to kneel here, you can stretch here. Good, and let's roll over onto our back. Feet hip width apart, all the way down. Take your hands on your belly. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, start with a little pelvic floor, a little kegel brace. Do not let your abdomen lift up at all, ever. Slowly bring one leg up to 90 degrees. Hold. Feel the belly. Bring the other leg up slowly. Hold. Abdomen should not have moved, okay? Let's go one leg tap, then the other. So this is our first thing that we need to get control of. Can you move the legs without the belly pushing out, without the lower back lifting up? Can you maintain the integrity of your midsection? That's the first thing we're looking for. And remember, you can't just say, oh, it's my skin. It's my muffin top. If anything is moving up and out, wrong direction, wrong contraction. Two and one, lower both legs, slowly, hip width, palms face up on either side. And let's lift up to a bridge. Lift up, maybe walk your shoulders in a little bit, keep your feet parallel, down and lift. So a couple things going on here. One, we get a little stretch through the front of the hips. That on that last exercise can sometimes get a little congested feeling. Hold it up, three pulses. Three, two, hold halfway down. Three, two, hold halfway down. Three, two, hold halfway down. Good, and hold. Good, lower down. Hug your knees into your chest. Good. Take a little stretch here. Good, place your feet back down. Hands back on the belly, take a deep breath in. Exhale, pelvic floor, so your kegel. Brace your belly, lower back connected. Hands feel what's going on. Right leg up to 90 or one leg up to 90. We're gonna switch, switch, switch. Good, continue switching. Couple things to watch out for. Keep your thigh perpendicular over your hip. Don't let it come in over the belly. If you want more intensity, touch further away. Let's do three quick and hold. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. 
Let's keep the quick switch. Keep it going. Quick, quick. Belly shouldn't be moving. Okay. Again, further away to challenge. Closer into lit. Off a little bit. Good. Feet hip width. Palms up. Bridge. Up and down. Lift and down. Good. Feeling that stretch. Engaging the back of the body to open up the front. Hold it up. Let's pulse here. Take one leg up in the air and continue your pulse. Bring it back down, continue your pulse. Take the other leg up in the air. And bring it down, lift, lift. Four, three, two, and hold. Good, lower down, hug your knees in please. Let's take your knees to one side and then look the other way as your spine allows. Good, let's switch sides. Good, let's roll over onto our side and come back to all fours. And press away a little round and a little arch, stretching the belly. So most of us think of the back of the body is too tight, we need to stretch the back of the body. Not really, the front of the body is too short. Push away and round. This feels good though, but it's a trick. Reverse an arch. Good, let's tuck our toes, come back to our feet. And slowly straighten your legs. Maybe they're all the way straight, maybe they're a little bit bent. Take a deep breath in and exhale, roll all the way up. Good, and that concludes our bar workout today.